Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these violet seed beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself and you could always ask me anything in the comments. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell in this way you won't miss a thing and you will be able to make more and more beautiful jewelries. You also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link for PayPal donations to support this channel, link to my Facebook and Instagram pages where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I usually share them in the community tab in YouTube here. And you could see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, which now, besides the other perks, is a new peyote course of five videos that you could check out. It's less than five dollars and you could start and cancel anytime. So if you want, you could check this option. And now, without further ado, let's continue with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 ounce seed beads, black, blue, white and purple. And here I'm using also earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar thread to this size. Okay, and down there in description you will find a full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, and you will also see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, which now is a course of five peyote stitch videos. Okay, and let's continue. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start my work by picking up 12 of these beautiful blue beads. Okay guys, and I have here my 12 on my needle. 12 and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and how I'm making it, I'm making here a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. I always start with this knot which is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot and then I make just one more regular knot to be sure it's all tight and secure. And here is what we have, this beautiful circle of beads. Okay, then I will go through some beads in this direction. And I'm going to start adding my next row which will consist of purple beads. Okay, and I'm going to pick up five purple beads. Okay, I have five of them here. And as I'm exiting through one of the blue beads, I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the following. Okay, this is what I do. I exit out of this one, skip this one and go through this one. Okay. And when I pull, I have this. Don't worry that it bends at this stage, we'll fix it later. Okay, this is what we have now. And in my next step, what I want to take are five purple beads again. Okay, I have my five here. And I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. And I pull. And I have this now. Then I'm going to continue the same way, take five. Okay, five of them. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this three more times. Okay. 
Okay guys, and now here I am at my last step where I'm going through the very first blue bead from where I started this row. And now I have this. And in my next row, what I want to do is go through these two purple beads in this direction. Like this, only through two of the five that I added in my previous row. And then what I need to take here are five white beads. Okay, I have my five whites here. And as I'm exiting through these two purples, I'm skipping the third one and going through the fourth one. So I'm skipping the one that is sticking out the most. And I go through the following. Okay. This is what I have. Then I need to take one blue bead, just one. And pay attention, this one flipped to one side, but I will fix it in this direction. And I'm going through the second purple, counting from the center. And I'm adding this one light blue bead, okay? Then in my next step, I'm exiting next to the one that is sticking out the most and I need five beads, five of them, skip the top and go through the following, okay. Then again what I need is one blue bead and I go here in the same place through the second purple counting from the center okay and I pull then I need five more white beads okay five skip one and go through the following then again a blue one and from the center to the outside, go through the second purple bead. Okay, and I'm going to continue this 5-1, five, 5-1 one, five, one until the end, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last blue bead from this row. And I go in the same place through the second purple, counting from the center. And then I pull, and I have this. Then here, guys, I'm going through two white beads in this direction, two of the five that I added in the previous row. And I'm going to take five white beads again. Okay, I have five. And I skip this one here at the top that is sticking out the most. And I go through the following. Then I'm going to take a blue, a black, and a blue. Okay, here is what I have. Then I'm going here in the second white counting from the center. Then what I need are five white beads. Okay, five. Skip the top one and go through the following. And again, what I need is a blue, a black, and a blue. And I go in the second white counting from the center. Then I need five white beads. Okay, five. Skip the middle white bead and go through the following. And then I need a blue, a black, and a blue. And I go here in the second white again. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this three more times and meet you here. If, if you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video. Start from here and repeat it. Okay, see you in a while.
Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And still I'm going through the second white, counting from the center. Okay, now I have this. And in my next step, what I'm going to do is go through these two white beads. And I'm going to take a white, three blue beads and a white. Okay, here is what I take. And as I'm exiting next to this one that is sticking out the most, I'm skipping it and I'm going through the following. Now what I need is a white, a blue, a black and a blue, and then a white. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going in the same place. One white bead away before this one that is sticking out the most and here what I want to take are one white, three blue and one white bead, okay? Then I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Okay, and I pull then what I take is a white, blue, black, blue, and a white. And I go here in the same place, just next to the one that is sticking out the most. And then here I need a white, three blues and a white. Okay, this is what I have. And again, I skip and go here. Now I'm going to pick up the next five beads. And it is the same sequence that I picked before. And I'm going here. And now, as always, I will let you do this by yourself until the end. And see you in a while. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last beads from this row. And I'm going here in the same place as I did before. Now I'm going to make the last row where everything will go to its form that it should be. Okay, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now what I want to do is go through this three top blue beads and I'm going to take three blue beads okay and I'm going here through this blue black blue okay I take three and I go through these three and I pull then I'm going to take three again three of the blue beads and I'm going through this central three blue beads okay and then again I need three and I'm going through these three blue black blue okay now this is what I have and again three blue beads and go through these top three beads just like this then again three blue and go through these three here again three and through all of those and I will continue these guys until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next see you in a while okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and I'm going here in the same place through this 
three middle blue beads and now guys what I want to do is go around through all of the beads here through all of them one more time this is not obligatory but I prefer to do this to smoothen out this line here around the petals of my work and I'll do this off camera guys and when I'm ready with the smoothening out of this row I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I've been around through all of the edge beads and now I'm here two blue beads away from this black one here and what I want to do is take two purple beads then I want to take my earring finding just like this I will slide those down and I want to take two more purple beads so two purple beads earring finding two purple beads and what I want to do is go back in circle through those blue beads in this direction okay I will go through all of them reinforcing my work okay and after I'm done reinforcing what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and how I make it I make a loop here between two of the beads then I go once and I go second time through the loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull and I could repeat this knot several more times when I'm ready with the last knot I go through some beads in this direction and I cut my thread and now my earring is ready okay guys and now my seed beads violets earrings are ready so if you're new here consider subscribing with the bell and also please guys like and share this video in this way you help me so much down there in description you will find a full list of materials facebook and instagram pages where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials uh, and you will also see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel which now besides the other perks is a new course of five videos with peyote stitch that was all from me bye bye